What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate y'all for continuing to rock with me. It's out here on the beach in Miami, Miami Beach specifically. Uh, sorry about the wind, but that's just what you get out here. And there's nothing you can do about it unless you've got a windscreen. Uh, and I don't have a windscreen. I got Rita with me, though. Rita's hanging out and chilling. What's going on with y'all? Just tapping in. Want to give y'all an update on my thoughts. Whenever I, I, I get towards the end of the week, I don't necessarily change up my routine, but you know, I just really start to live with my thoughts and I start to summarize the week so that I can better understand exactly how it is that I can make adjustments, do things differently and do it better, right? So a couple different things that I want to tap in with you guys, right? First and foremost, this X7, the new one, the inside is very, very similar. Very, very similar to the new BMW 7 Series. Let me just show you a little bit. You see the whole all the way across and then they got the new design language with the X7 going across like that. I love this car. I absolutely love this. I'm not really a car guy. You know, I got the S-Class and the Porsche and all of that, but I very much like the design language and this thing is growing on me. Even the front grill and everything and the headlights and the, the ultra new, it's growing on me. But Miami, let's talk about Miami. Let's give y'all a little bit of an update on what's going on here. Uh, we hit the beach today and uh, Rita did some shopping and we did some uh, Spanish and Italian restaurants and uh, we did a little bit of uploading and working and then we hung out in Miami Beach and then we came back down here to the design district and Rita did a little bit of shopping. You know, when you have your girl out here, you want to make sure that she stay tight with everything that she want to visit and shop at because it's not always about going online. It's about the experiences, right? Um, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing through it all is having the option to do what you want to do when you don't want to do it or when you do want to do it. Meaning that Rita and I have been having a conversation extensively and we always, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because we have this space in our life. Uh, you know, we starting to get a little bit older, uh, 40 years old. Uh, we're right there, probably at the midway point, God willing, uh, that we live to be 80, 85, 90 years old and super good health. And that's why we spend the overwhelming majority of our time in the gym. But um, I'm waiting on her inside the store. She about to come right out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, baby. Even when you kick in with people, you don't have to uh you don't have to be mad or anything like that. If they ask you to move up or move forward or make some adjustments, just make the adjustment. There go Anton right there. There go me. That's me back home in Detroit. But I think the conversation is starting to be um what happens once my baby, my little baby, Leslie. She's 15, but she's already in driver's training. Um, and it's not about whether or not she had moved out or not because she can't move out. I've already made the, or came to the conclusion that we decided as a family that my daughter is gonna be with me even, even after she get of age to be able to move out, she's always gonna be under daddy until she get married. So the question then becomes what happens, right? After she becomes of age and she gets old enough to where she can actually uh, drive and things like that. You see Rita? I don't know what she bought, but Rita just be shopping. What'd you pick up this time, honey? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. What's the, what's here tomorrow? What do they what do they sell? Oh Jesus. Anyways, but the conversation then became uh, what does our life look like once Leslie become of age and uh, she's able to drive and she's able to kind of take care of herself. Leslie is actually out of town at a Taekwondo tournament over in Vegas right now. And so uh, we don't know. We don't know. Like one thing that we've already considered is that we're not doing any more winners. Right. We're not doing any more cold. None of that. We don't complete, completely remove ourselves from the idea of having to subject ourselves to winter although i like all four seasons and i don't mind visiting places or visiting back home when it's cold i'm not going to live in the cold which means that uh, my life will really really pretty much be on the road but then i'm taking into consideration okay well i got a studio and we record a lot of content and i do panels 
So maybe I just fly back and forth into the studio in order to do my recordings. Or maybe I created a space because I've already kind of started putting together the whole idea to where the channels and everything that we're doing, it could pretty much run without me. I don't know what that looks like. Do we go on the road nine months out of the year and where we're, and where we live in a different place every single, uh, every couple of months or every three to four months? Do we spend our winters down here in Miami and then, you know, switch up between Miami and San Diego in order to be able to change the weather just in the wintertime? And then we spent a couple months in Detroit because I absolutely love Detroit. I don't know what that looks like. But the thing that I do know is that the worst thing, the worst thing in the world, and this is just for me, I'm just giving my opinion based off of my life. The worst thing in the world is being required to do something that I don't want to do when I don't want to do it. That, ladies and gentlemen, could quite possibly be torture for me and i don't see how the majority of americans do it i don't see how they mortgage their future in order to make themselves feel good about uh buying things that they don't need in order to satisfy people that don't even care nothing about them it's wild to me i don't see how people feel comfortable enough to just um continue to take on student loan debt or not make the sacrifice for the first 10 years or for 10 years straight so that you can then do what you want to do for the rest of your life. I don't understand how people don't pour into their 401k. I don't understand how we continue to be a dead or dead or nation, not dead or, but, and it sounds very much like that. In my opinion, it's similar to that, but a debt, D-E-B-T, a debtor nation to where we continue to run up the numbers you know, we was on Miami Beach and we sat at a restaurant and I didn't even eat the food because I didn't even necessarily care for the food at that particular restaurant. But uh, we sat at a restaurant and I had a uh, Parmesan chicken, truffle something and all of this other kind of junk. And it was just me and Rita and we didn't even order a lot. And our bill came up to like 90 something, 90 something dollars. And I said to myself, Rita, I don't understand how normal people do this we went inside a haagen dazs and we got like a little one little like a couple scoops of ice cream to share amongst each other you know so we can walk down the street and hold hands and feed each other ice cream and it's like 15 dollars or something like that you know what i'm saying and it is it's, you know we went on the beach and we was walking in the sand and stuff like that but we spent 150 dollars without even breathing now thankful for me that that doesn't affect me at all because uh, you know, I've made the sacrifices earlier in my life in order to get the results that I want now. But Jesus Christ, like to know that the average person is going to be subjected to the worst things for us. I can't. I refused to allow my life to be that I cannot do it. I will not do it. It is not my future. It does not have to be your future. If you're a bag chaser, if you're a part of the Patreon, the link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I need you guys to make a declaration. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 18. Oh, there goes Anton's other car right there. Back to back. Got one of them at the crib too. If you if you are a bag chaser, I don't care if you're 18. I don't care if you're 35, 45, or 55. You don't have to be a part of the matrix. You don't have to subject yourself to the worst things for yourself just because you want to be a part of the in crowd and you're determined to be average running the victim olympics and being the oppression olympics along with it high jump best scores shikari richardson i'm not doing it i can't do it i refuse to do it it's not a part of my future i'm not doing it i'm not mortgaging my future you don't have to be that you can't be that God don't want us to be that. He don't want us to be destitute and desolate. It's a whole nother way. Be able to have the conversation to determine what you want to do in your future, not what you have to do based off of what somebody else tells you. Baby girl is telling me to move, so I'm going to have to go ahead and get up out of here. So listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We're about to get out of here right now. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.